Niagara University opened its doors in 1856, and it could be argued that very few couples have impacted their alma mater more since its founding. Dr. Fran Crosby graduated from Niagara University in 1967. Even with a master's degree from Boston University and a doctorate from the University of Buffalo, Fran's career passion remained with advancing the legacy of her undergraduate institution. She was a firm believer that the Niagara nurse was unique, was special, and had always been so. Not only in terms of being excellent in the nursing practice, but also very much more focused on being leaderships, leaders in the nursing practice, but even more so to be caring about everyone in the community and frankly in the world, uh, a real global perspective. She always was clear that she had a vision about nursing in the future and that our society needed baccalaureate prepared nurses. And of course she had a dedication to seeing that happen at Niagara University. She's a very proud alumni. She always felt there was something very uh, important and unique about a Niagara nurse. After the university's College of Nursing closed, Fran remained focused on her life's passion for the field of nursing and nursing education at Niagara University. I have worked with a lot of people over a long period of time. And what kept me working with her was that she was focused. The goal was to get the program open. It mattered not that she was going to get credit for it. Or th that was not the motive in the whole thing at all. It was to go and get this program up because we both felt that it was the right thing to do. And we never lost sight of what the goal was. Without her, the nursing program, I truly believe, would not be here today. Uh, she is endlessly dedicated, enormously skilled, both in terms of researching and writing and planning and developing. And she is, uh, how would I say it? She is incredibly determined in a most quiet and respectful way. She has connections. She can call on people who respect her. Uh, so, you know, pick up the phone and she's got people signing on to a project um, or signing on to do something. It's, um, so she's established tremendous relationships in the community. So I think that's been, you know, hugely responsible for the successes that she's had with the program. Brian Crosby also graduated from Niagara in 1967 and earned his law degree from Fordham University Law School in 1970. A retired lieutenant colonel from the United States Marine Corps, Brian is widely respected in the legal community. He is a fellow of the American College of Trial Lawyers and a fellow of the International Academy of Trial Lawyers. He's a managing partner in a major law firm. He travels regularly to South Korea where he's a consultant with a major car company on their trial cases. He flies in, advises them. They picked him to be in this role because they had seen him on another case and they said, we have to have this man helping us. But he's also a member of the American College of Trial Lawyers, which is an organization of the highest caliber trial lawyers in the country and internationally. And you do not join the American College of Trial Lawyers. You have to be inducted in by the, by the members after uh, you have established yourself as uh, highest level trial lawyer. But he has not only a regional and national, but an international reputation. He's requested by international companies for a variety of cases and, and serious matters, seven, eight, nine figure cases. Um, and he's uh, just extremely well regarded. He's a regent of the American College of Trial Lawyers, and uh, I don't think there's a better trial lawyer uh, in our area. Brian and Fran Crosby have achieved incredible career success, but even with that success, they have remained true to their Vincentian formation and their calling to service. In addition to serving Niagara University, they have been an asset individually and as a couple to numerous healthcare organizations throughout the region. Fran has, has been a leader in working with other groups, whether it's uh, Niagara Falls Memorial Medical Center, uh, Catholic Health. Uh, she's dedicated to bringing health care uh, to Western New York. This is a man who was president of the International Trial Lawyers. This is, this is a superstar in his field. 
But when you call Brian and say, I have a family member who needs help, can you recommend a lawyer? He drops everything and gives you that help. Brian just dedicates so many hours and his tremendous lawyerly skills to the university through that process, he and other board members who were so dedicated to making sure that the future of Niagara was not compromised by the New York Power Authority's project relicensing, but instead enhanced. That I was astounded by his dedication. I marveled at his dedication and how he would be on trial away from the area and return to donate his, his services on uh, these, these boards, uh, hospital boards, visiting nurses association, and of course, Niagara University. Total dedication to Niagara U University. She's Vincentian. She personifies the Vincentian mission. Very caring, um, goes over and above um, what most people would do. If you look at the, the, the mission of the university, that's Fran. You could say, well, that's her, that's how she, that's who she is. There are, I'm sure, a lot of people in our community, and we could probably name some, who are trumpeting their own accomplishments and their own service, and he's just not like that. He offers his time generously to organizations, but he wouldn't volunteer that, and you wouldn't know about it unless you heard it from others. Separately, Brian and Fran have made a powerful impact on their respective professions and in their service to the region. That individual impact is highly respected, but together, Brian and Fran Crosby are a wonderful Niagara University story. Um, it's a great love story. I've heard how they've met. Um, it was after a Niagara event, might have been a basketball game. I believe it was in a bar, um, which kind of gives you something about their uh, fun-loving nature. Um, they are committed to each other. They are committed to their family. Brian and Fran Crosby, in many ways to me, um, are great examples of Niagara University. A couple of bright young people who met here, who married, who've gone on to have very, very successful lives, and who've maintained their dedication to this broader community, but also especially to Niagara University. They are, you know, a perfect match for one another. Brian, you know, loves to introduce Dr. Crosby and vice versa, and you can just, he beams with pride about Fran and vice versa. They are very warm and very welcoming and very generous. Um, they're very committed, and both my husband and I find it very heartening to be able to call Brian and Fran our friends. For their commitment to their professions and service to the community and their alma mater, Niagara University is proud to present Brian and Dr. Fran Crosby with the Caritas Medal.